Look around and create a sense of well-being in your home. It's time for interiors. Rodolphe Barnier is an interior designer. He likes design, recycling second-hand items and industrial furniture. Hello, come on in. And for him, beauty does not necessarily mean expensive, which is something we really like to hear. And his apartment is the best demonstration. The building was built in the 50s. Originally, it was split into two flats, which we converted into one. So firstly, we have this great view of the Sacré Coeur. So the idea was to really open up this space and to let the light in. The style of the apartment is a combination of modern and Baroque. Something like a mixture of modern objects and things picked up in second-hand shops and flea markets. We didn't have a huge budget to begin with, so we just did with what we could, really. So this here is an old armchair that we found in a flea market, which was originally a gold color with very old-fashioned plum-colored velvet. And so we repainted it. We painted it white, and we had it covered with some fur that we had found at uh, San Pierre Market. Fur that is quite unexpected, but at the same time in its element, a bit like this windmill in the central Paris. Generally speaking, it's safe to say the television units are always ugly. So here we found a little chest of drawers. Now, they swing open like this, which is easier for the remote controls to open the drawers directly. So now we have these drawers like that, these that hide the DVD player and all the wiring. Recycling and adaptation, the richest thing about Rodolphe's décor is his ideas. When we saw the floor, which is the original floor from the 50s, we decided in the end to repaint it with road marking paint. There are various advantages with this type of paint, the first being that it's quite cheap, and secondly, it gives a really solid look, and thirdly, it's very easy to keep clean. I really like this painting. It's a painting that continues the recycling theme. There are original posters from the 60s and 70s that have been compressed between two sheets of plexiglass. We've hidden the door because, again, generally speaking, doors are always ugly. Here it merges into the wall thanks to this white curtain. Now, this is a real example of inexpensive recycling that we completely sanded down and that holds all our plates and dishes. Uh, it costs 30 euros. That is real industrial recycling because I found these lights in a factory and I just brought them together on a single base. In fact, there were 20 or so lights like that. We also recuperated the fridge and cupboards, and we customized the fridge by adding these stainless steel panels, because originally the different sections were completely white like the cupboards, and so we covered the fridge as you can see. Now here we open the kitchen up completely to create this bar and to give this open perspective all the way to the ends of the living room actually. We have separated the apartment into a day zone and a night zone with this red plexiglass door. So here I'll show you the shower room. Inside, we have installed a retro-style shower system. 
I'd say that it's more MySpace since it has quite a masculine feel. The paint that you can see here is what's called Tadlak, and it is used in Turkish steam baths and that sort of thing. Now we're entering the more feminine space, the bathroom for the lady of the house. This is the bedroom. That is a really old wardrobe. It's Louis XV style wardrobe, which we rubbed down with the slightly gray tones. And this is an authentic grandmother's dressing table since it belonged to my wife's grandmother. It's true that there's a tendency here to mix really beautiful objects with industrial objects. We adapt them a lot too. We keep our eyes open for bargains. We look in flea markets and furniture shops, and we can also mix objects recuperated by salvage firms and second-hand stalls. He makes it sound so easy that we're almost tempted to invest in a toolbox. 